Good afternoon, everyone. It is Sunday afternoon, and today's date is May 23rd. The exciting summer weather pattern continues across our country, especially the eastern part of the country. Temperatures are going into the low. Even some mid-90s have been reported and across, especially Delaware, that seems to be a hot spot. But there's something which is almost like an emergency hot spot, which is in Russia, where the temperatures today hit 100 degrees. Unbelievable. 100 degrees in a city. It starts with an N. A Novoyensk. I think it's N-O-V-O-U. Uh, N-O-V-O-U. Uh, N-S. No. N-O-V-O-U-Z-Y-E-N. SK. There might be other ways to pronounce the city, but that's the way the city is spelled on AccuWeather. Temperature hit 100 degrees over there, just unbelievable heat for Russia. I don't know exactly how far north that city is. It is further south than Moscow, probably on par with Winnipeg, Canada, and it's so it is further north than Chicago. One of the ways to determine that is to look at the sunrise and sunset information for that city. If the days are very long. It is further north than the Chicago area, but also looking at just a world map, you could easily see how far north that city is, and that's certainly unbelievable heat. What's even more amazing is that if you look at the temperatures over the past week, temperatures are in the 70s. Normal high for that city today is 71 degrees, and again, the high temperature there was 100 degrees, and the low temperature was 70 or 71 degrees. Let's come back here to the Chicago area actually quickly speak about yesterday high temperature yesterday 88 degrees Uh, that's um, (laughs) in terms of who was the most right they all were within three degrees so some of the forecasts said 85 some said 86 that was one version the other version was 91 so they both were off by a a few degrees so who's to say one was better than the other Uh, the high temperature was 88 degrees and that was uh, what we dealt with yesterday certainly felt really warm outside today we have that humidity from the gulf of mexico that's really starting to take over the chicago area as dew points are going into the mid 60s now these types of dew points would not really be considered humid if this was midsummer but this is one of our first exposures to humidity and because of that it does feel a little bit humid but if you go into the cornfields of of west wisconsin and into iowa On the big sky weather map, you will see that the dew points are ranging from 72 to 70, even 74 degrees. That is really humid. That is on par with what we are seeing right now in Texas, around Corpus Christi, Texas, just about on par. There are some isolated 77 degree dew points in Texas, but it's just amazing to see those high dew points on the big sky or some say it's the dark sky weather map. The strange thing about the whole thing is that AccuWeather is not reporting these high dew points in Wisconsin. They're saying that uh, some of these cities have a dew point of 59 degrees. It's quite interesting that I don't know how to explain that. But it could be that AccuWeather is getting their information from the local airport. And the Dark Skies actually has weather stations in the cornfields itself. And perhaps that's one of the differences. Minnesota's really humid as well. Dew points are in the 70s. Just really, really humid. It's really amazing to actually see it happen this early in the season to see that the two most humid spots in this country are in Texas, Louisiana, and up into the upper Midwest in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa. Believe it or not, Florida has a little bit of low humidity. Dew points in Florida are down into the 60s, which is really unusual for this time of the year. And we don't even see those temperatures reflect that. When you have dew points that low, the sun becomes really efficient at heating things up. So you would think those temperatures would be going into the mid and even upper 90s. In fact, with dew points that low in Florida, not that it's dry, it's not a desert heat. That is basically what the dew points are here in Chicago right now. But one would think 
think that there would be cities which are hitting 100 degrees. It could be there are, but as far as I know, if you look on the weather map, you'll just see basically 80s, maybe a couple of low 90s for, um, for Florida. The peak heating right now is occurring again over Delaware as this high pressure system has been pushed westward, possibly because of a tropical storm. There actually was, the, on Friday we were speaking about two different low pressure systems that had the potential to become a tropical storm, and one of them did, the one by Bermuda, the one which was over cool water, <laughs> officially the water is supposed to have to be 80 degrees in order to produce a tropical storm, but you know, that must mean a hurricane. It has to be 80 degrees for a hurricane, apparently, because we had a tropical storm. It's the first one of the season. So I don't know. I think it's Anna. I think that's the name of the tropical storm. The one by Texas never did develop into a tropical storm, but Texas is getting a lot, a lot of rain. They will be drying out within a couple of days. A lot of that moisture continues to hang out around the Gulf Coast in that area in Louisiana, and the floods continue for those places. Another spot here in this country which is getting severe weather for today is the northern plains and the central plains where a few tornadoes are possible along with some large hail. Chicago is right within this area of high pressure, and the environment is somewhat capped, somewhat capped, which is preventing precipitation from forming, although we do have some clouds forming. It's, we, are in the, we are in the process of watching a lake cold front, a backdoor cold front developing. It has not moved through the area yet. Temperatures are really warm right now, not as warm as they thought it would be, but temperatures will likely go crashing within a couple of hours. Those temperatures are going to warm right back up for tomorrow. Tom Skilling once again is saying a high near 90 degrees for tomorrow and temperatures will remain for highs in the 80s all the way through Wednesday. That will be make it seven consecutive days. He has uh, lowered those temperatures for highs, uh, highs only of 89, not 91 anymore. Uh, other forecasts are saying about 86 for the next few days and that's uh, what we have over here. One of the most amazing things to me is not just the heat in Russia, but it's the fact that nobody's talking about it. I went through the whole Washington Post, and th they're not talking about it. How could this be? It's hitting 100 degrees in the month of May in Russia. How could it be that no one's talking about it? The media could be going wild on this, and they're not. And it's really strange to me. It's like... Uh, it's really weird. Uh, but in any case, uh, nobody's talking about it. Maybe there are some other papers talking about it, but uh, it's 100 degrees in Russia. This is like mind-boggling stuff. Even in July, it's mind-boggling stuff for it to be 100 degrees in Russia. Uh, you know, it's like in Anchorage, Alaska. You, have, you know, in Alaska, maybe it hit 100 once. And I actually looked in the big sky weather map, and I actually saw some cities where it's actually, it was 103 degrees in some of those cities. I don't know why the that robot, which I'm not going to say the name because it's going to mess up this whole recording, why that robot, which is connected to AccuWeather, says the highest temperature in Russia today was 100 degrees when I saw on the big side weather map temperatures of 103. But, you know, they might be getting their information from different weather stations. Across the world right now, we have very few places that are reporting dew points in the low 80s as usual. We have that one city in Mexico that continues to flirt with 80 degrees. Sometimes it's 79, sometimes it's 80 degrees and we have places uh, out in India I don't think there were places that were at 80 degrees quite close but not 80 degrees we do have a, a tremendous storm which is uh, when it, it's uh, Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. The precipitation from this storm is going to move into India, and then by Wednesday, 6 a.m., it's going to really start to overspread. It looks like it's the northeast part of India. This is really heavy stuff, 8 to 12 inches of rain. This is a tropical storm, not just a tropical storm. This is equivalent to a Category 3 hurricane. That's what they're expecting to happen on the coast of India. So, you know, on with tremendous winds. So uh, that whole stagnant air situation that's been taking place in India, which some say that's been a 
major uh, issue b- with the COVID situation. So this might be, on one hand, good news in terms of that. The stagnant air will be uh, going away. In India, the hurricane season, they don't call it hurricanes, I but the hurricane season is uh, right before the monsoon season and right after the monsoon season. So right before the southwest monsoon season, which starts June 1st, and right after the, mon- the southwest monsoon season. Uh, anyways, that's the weather for today. I... The, <laughs> I will be signing off now. I wish everybody a great day and everyone enjoy this beautiful summer weather that we have, which uh, is going to continue through Wednesday. After Wednesday, temperatures will probably be dropping here in Chicago into the upper 60s. And remember that the lake water temperatures are in the 50s, and any water temperature under 77 degrees is considered cold, according to AccuWeather.